This is the beginning of a very dangerous experiment that I advise no one try unless you have plenty of ventilation and a good understanding of carbon monoxide and you also would want to use the carbon monoxide detector which I do intend to hook up here in a little while. What I have here is a tube about this full of activated carbon and I'm going to be connecting this HHO torch I'll get you a good view of what that looks like. It's a fan torch basically. It makes a nice wide spray pattern and I'm going to be attempting to make fuel with the water gas ship reaction. I am simply using this HHO torch as a superheated steam source and as an energy source. This is not how the process is really going to work. I intend to eventually use solar heat to heat carbon up inside of a stainless steel tube and then pass steam through it to produce water gas which will then drive generators. So the goal here is I'm going to light this torch, I'm going to screw it on to here and that should start generating water gas out the top of this. Um, now there are some construction problems with this device. It's obviously not fitted with any type of cooling and this torch section right here is going to get very hot pretty quick so I need to keep an eye out on that. But I'm just going to run a quick test and see if we can get any fire coming out of these tubes. So here is the HHO torch that I'll be using. Now I made this in the shape of a fan, or like a fan flame I call it. This is extremely dangerous. Getting some smoke coming out of the top there already. And look at that. Holy shit. <laughs> now those flames are significantly larger than the HHO input. Okay, this bad boy's getting hot already. I have to shut it down. That is just too cool. Water gas shift reaction. Yep, got to shut it down. It's getting bigger. 